and 10th standard from Konsimanti Ashram. Let us discuss the chapter World War I. In this particular chapter, now we are going to learn enfranchisement of women. Enfranchisement means to grant a permission or admit to citizenship and especially to the right to vote. After a long struggle for political rights like right to vote, British women got these rights in 1918. After this act gave about 8.4 million women to vote. Parliament Act passed on November 1918, allowing women to elected to Parliament. As the members of Parliament, women gained the right to become government ministers. In these long lengthy wars like world wars, industrial production and other services are necessary. Women gained these rights passed by Congress on June 4, 1919 and ratified on August 18, 1920. The leaders like Sunsan B, Anthony Edis Powell, Elizabeth Candy Stanstone, Lucy Stone and Ida B, each other committed to the all American women for enfranchisement of women. Logo of International Women Suffragist Movement and Organization established in 1914. British women got this right to vote in 1918. Women got the right to vote passed by Congress on June 4, 1919 and ratified on August 18, 1920. New Zealand is the first self-governing country to grant the vote to all adult women. All women received the right to elected under the same terms as men at age 21 or 19 if they had seen active service. The leaders of right to vote campaign Women like Sunsan B, Anthony Ellis Powell, Elizabeth Candy Stanstone, Lucy Stone and Ida B. Each was committed to the enfranchisement of all American women. After this act gave above 8.4 million women to vote. The Parliament Act was passed on November 1918, allowing women to elected to parliament. Elizabeth Candy Stanton started the women's suffrage movement. John Stuart Mill wrote the subject, subjection of women. Women rights movement also called women liberation movement. Women's suffrage is the right of women by law to vote in national or local elections. The main goals of the women movement the included equal access to education and employment, equality within marriage and a married woman right to her own property. Women rights start in India on 15 December 1917. Thank you viewers for watching our videos. Thank you. Mm -hmm.